How are you feeling today? A lot better, dude. Yeah? Are you finally like unsickified? Yeah, finally. Yeah. Which is dope. Where are we going for breakfast? Uh, Art Cafe. You've been there a few times, right? Uh, every morning. French toast? Yeah. yeah sweet. Sweet. Transport car has arrived and I'm signing out here from the bachelor suite. Peace out, dude. Bali, hopefully. See you in the next one. Yeah. Bali, let's do it. Time to go to Port Barton, which I am just so excited to get there. All right, this is the ride. Jamie and I are cruising in style here. Oh, speed bump. And we were able to rent this out for a total of, it was 3,500, so that's roughly about 70 US dollars. How far is it to Port Barton? How many hours? Four hours. It's four, four hours. And that's the same price I paid to get from Manila Airport to our hotel. Yeah. Which was like, uh, what, 15 minute drive? Yeah, about that. Yeah, so about the same I paid at the beginning of the trip to go four hours. I didn't let Jamie negotiate this one. Two hours into the ride so far. I think we got another two hours to go. It's about a four hour ride in total. If you can do the math, two plus two equals four. Minus one is three, quick math. Tempting to read this book here, but I'm getting a little bit sick. I gotta put it down. I've been reading this fantastic book though. It's called The Problem of God. Um, if you guys don't already know, I'm a Christian. I go to church back home in Canada uh, when I'm home, and my pastor is phenomenal. That's actually the book he released. And um, if you're ever curious, I'll actually have the video format of that book linked below. You can check it out uh, because he does all of his sermons online. They're all professionally done. It's really, really awesome. It's super relatable. When I grew up, like I went to many churches, and so much of it was just like listening to a 65-year-old guy read out of a Bible and for me there was no relatability there was no connection I would love to share that with you guys if that's something you're remotely interested in I'm gonna try to sleep away my headache right now because I'm getting a little nauseous and vlogging is not helping so to say we're taking some rough roads right now would be a great understatement these are rural roads like our car is currently slipping around on the mud and like single lane in some parts it's crazy this it's gonna be interesting guys. I mean, I don't even know what to expect. I know it's a quiet town. I know it's a very beautiful beach with sea turtles and it's kind of like the up and coming place here in Palawan. But other than that, like, I really don't know. It's gonna be me exploring it with you guys. I'm excited about that. You know, it's always cool to return places, but there's something about seeing something for the first time and uh, we're about to experience that together. This is one of the worst roads I've ever taken in my life. So we've just been dropped off. Booked a place, it was 45 US for the night. It's like their family suite, so I think it's gonna be a bit of a big room, which will be nice. Unnecessary, but it was all they had left. Welcome to Osan! Help me, I'm dying. Well, this is it, guys. We've arrived, and I feel like I'm being too loud even just vlogging. It's very quiet here. Like a lot of people just reading books and eating watermelons. It's like, what are they doing with their lives? Don't they have things to do? This is why people come here. It's a very laid back, chilled vibes kind of place. Hey, let's see that big baller living. What's Gucci? Oh my gosh, look at the mural. Holy, I'm bringing sexy back. It smells yeah. really good. Ooh, it smells good here too. So I'm low key dying here. I've been trying to upload this video for the past six days. It was not possible in El Nido. Palawan, it's notoriously bad for Wi-Fi speeds. I've been trying to like hotspot with my phone and you know use hotels Wi-Fi when I can, but it's always disconnecting. It's always goes a little bit and then it just shuts off completely. And I've had to restart this upload twice now. It's driving me crazy. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get this video up though. No shirts, no shoes, and I still get service. So Jamie clearly doesn't get this lifestyle. It's tarps optional, but he missed the memo. I don't want to make you feel bad. Oh, that's it. That's what it is. So we're gonna walk down the beach, go get some food. Just enjoy life, you know? This is a very, very calm place. Like, I feel like the fact that I haven't uploaded a video in six days doesn't even matter right now. Actually, it's probably been seven days. Let's not talk about it.
So when I'm in Southeast Asia and I'm at like a decently nice restaurant, I like to order chicken cordon bleu. And what's inside of it is actually like a cheesy formula. It's like really nice and gushy inside. I'm probably not selling this and this is why I don't have a cooking channel. But paired with it, some more gushy mashed potatoes which I'm gonna smush together with my chicken cordon bleu. Fancy. My family's British. Family's British, yeah. Chips. So all the goes. chips. Where's your tea, mate? Wait, that's Aussie. Yeah. Oh. This is just absolutely marvelous. Love it. Saxophone beats. That's pretty much what this place is all about. I've been uploading for two hours now. Managed to get my video from a whole 70% uploaded to 73. Life's good. It's official, guys. I just want to cry. <laughs> I was 75% uploaded and it's just gone to zero. So it reset the upload, there's nothing you can do about it. I've had this happen before. It's when you've re-attempted to upload the same video multiple times, like if you disconnect from the internet and then try again, then disconnect and then try again. It usually keeps count, but sometimes it'll just reset back to zero and I ran out of luck. Palawan, you are making me stressed. I'm gonna have gray hairs by the age of 30 anyways because of my dad, but I think, I think it could happen by 27 if at the rate things are going here. If you couldn't tell already by the vibe of this vlog, this is Port Barton, guys. I mean, people come here to chill. They bring books, they play board games, they eat dinner by candlelit tables. I mean, it's pretty awesome, I gotta say. When you're staying at a beach resort and the sun sets, it pretty much feels like it's the end of the day, it's time to go to bed. Like, I could sleep by 8 p.m. if I didn't have work to do. And also, I think we lose our power in less than an hour because they cut it at 12, which is not ideal. I would like to have my AC running through the night, so I'm gonna hopefully fall asleep before that cuts out, and I won't even notice. I'll just wake up to a really warm, muggy room. Beautiful morning, starting in Port Barton, and I've just met some friends. What's up, friends? Hi. Hi. And you guys are from Manila. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, we're just watching. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> I told you. I told you you should. Saying goodbye here to Port Barton, a very beautiful, quiet, calm, sleepy place to come hang out. Especially great if you're a couple. For Jamie and I, you know, it was a little low key, but I definitely see who it's for, and it's a beautiful place. 450 pesos, three hours to Puerto Princesa. We don't have our own private shuttle, but that's more than okay. <laughs> That was about a three, three and a half hour ride. Oh my gosh, they pack us so tightly in there. It was crazy at some points. And then the baby started crying, and then the road got rocky, and then we were like sliding around in the mud. And I actually sent out a few messages. I put an Instagram story up and a Facebook post up announcing that we are going to be doing a meetup tonight at the Ayala Center in Cebu City. Usually there's at least 24 hours notice. This one there's gonna be like four hours, five hours notice. All right, so once again, we were the final boarding call. That's like our tradition here right now. Every flight, we don't get on until they're calling last call. Make my way downtown, walking fast. Faces pass and I'm homebound. I'm three for three right now in this game. First guest to this though, LOL. What is laugh out loud? Have our final winner. Congratulations. Of course, the correct answer Normally, when you come fly in the Philippines, there's often delays. But I've been like four for four or five for five on my flights. All been ahead of schedule. And again, I'm flying with Cebu Pack. Pretty stoked. Success. We have landed here in Cebu. I didn't expect to be coming here to Cebu, but just the way the flights worked, Cebu Pacific was able to send us through Cebu City. And from Cebu City tomorrow, we're going to be flying all the way to Shargao. What I'm probably most excited about on this entire trip. This trip was about seeing new things, and for me, the must-see new place was Shargao. I know a little bit about it. I know it's one of the up-and-coming places, just like Port Barton, but it's got a lot more going on than Port Barton. So before any fan meetup, you gotta make sure you got the right nutrients to power you through it. Jamie's got a couple big bites. Do you know? Do you know One Direction? Do you, you know One Direction, right? He's in One Direction. Meals, yeah. Ayala Center. Yeah, let's do it. Pile in the back. Here we go. 
Yeah, Ayala Center. Cool. All right, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go. I think they kind of oversold our limo, but it's described a little differently in the website. But Jamie booked it. He negotiated this thing. Only a hundred dollars too. It's actually two hundred. This is a jeepney. If you aren't familiar, if you're new to the Philippines series. This is how most people get around the Philippines. It's very affordable. And I need to put my head in the window before I lose it. You go the entire 15-20 minutes in this thing. It's going to cost us about fifteen cents U.S. each. I want to say this deal. That's value. Bye bye. Bye bye. Come again. <laughs> Come again. So. I don't know, I've been waiting here for a good half an hour and no one's showing up, it's really disappointing. So I think Jamie and I are just gonna call and head home. What's up guys? <laughs> this is amazing. It's so great to see so many awesome faces here in Cebu City. And this is technically my first ever meetup. I've had one that was like kind of informal, but this is the first ever. So thank you so much to everyone who just showed up. It's, it's always appreciated. All the way, yeah, good to meet you man. I would love to meet you. What's your phone background? Oh, you want to see my phone background? Yeah. <laughs> Got the alpaca gang over That's, here. I had put that up on my Instagram store. I was like, if you guys want a background, like, feel free to screenshot. Look at all these people who showed up. Like, holy crap. Unbelievable. <laughs> I want to introduce you to one of the guys who showed up tonight. This is Mike. What's, What's up, up Mike? everybody? How's it going? And Mike has actually moved here to Mactown area, Cebu City, and you're a vlogger. Correct, yeah. I've been trying to do word of the day in every video. Today we have a word. It's So I just taught Christian, Kilala. Ikao ai Kilala. That means kilala. you are famous here in the Philippines. Kilala is famous. Manok is chicken. Salamat is thank you. Uh, check me out, Michael Sorensen on YouTube. Appreciate it. There's so many more people to meet. This is amazing. I just noticed someone who showed up that I recognized because he DM'd me saying he was all the way in Malapascua, which if I remember correctly, that's four hours north. Is about four hours? Uh, if the traffic's good, yeah, but it never is. It wasn't good, so it took him longer. <laughs> What's your name? Xander. Bad respect for that, man. That's, that's the distance. Got me some vloggers, you know. Yeah, Hi, Christian. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm in the to be in your video, bro. Welcome to Sydney. Enjoy Philippines. The meetup was at 5.30. It's currently... Have we been here for two hours? Two hours, dude. That is wild. I've been smiling and taking photos for two hours. Dude, my cheeks are just solid, like just yeah. a constant smile. Behind each and every single one of those selfies was somebody who came across the channel, decided to stick around and subscribe and become part of Team Get Lost. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every single one of you that came out tonight. Thank you to everyone who couldn't make it but wanted to. Like, honestly, the channel is nothing without you guys, and it was so cool tonight to get to meet at least a couple hundred of you, get to put faces behind the numbers, faces behind the Philippines support team that's been so incredible for this channel. Got so much love for this country and the people in it. Thank you, thank you. And Jamie, how was your first ever meetup? That was unbelievable. I was not expecting to take that many photos of that many people, but everybody here is so nice and so supportive and it's just absolutely amazing. True. I was just given a dream catcher. What's your name? Joey. I really appreciate that. In case you guys thought that I only help Christian with his videos, apparently I also get him clothes. If you've ever been shopping with a female and it takes forever, then you know what it's like shopping with Christian. He went in there with about six shirts. They're all the same fit, the same size. And he's trying on every single one of them. Fashion. There he is, finally. I'm actually super stoked. Look at these shorts, they're so dope. Christian, stop. It's, it's okay, man. It's nose. They don't even have a medium, and I like this sweater. The world isn't fair. You're not gonna get your Ferrari if you keep acting like this. Christian, I knew you are all I want is my burrito right now, and he's went back into the change room for like the fourth time. The struggle is real. He put it all on my debit card. <laughs> Jamie's paying. Thanks, man. Is this, is this your first time? Is this your first time, Jimmy? <laughs> Come here, Jimmy. Is your first time? Take good care of him. <laughs> Canada. Oh, Canada. Yeah. Canada, Toronto, Canada. Yeah, you're driving us to Toronto, eh? Yeah. Do you some wheelies? He, he can do wheelies. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Take him away, Royal 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 Salamat. Have a good night. If you're one of those people who are looking for the adventure of a lifetime, you are in luck because I've actually made an entire travel video guide 
just for you. It gives you all the information you could ever need on the must-see locations, the hidden gems, everything from packing your bags to safety, and even how to save money on your trip to the Philippines. Make sure to check out the link down below in the description of this here video. And you can check out the completely free 5 Hot Tips to the Philippines. It will be a great head start for your trip. And guys, if you're new to my channel, a huge welcome. I would invite you to hit that subscribe button, become part of the channel, and let's get lost again in the next one. Fun of the day.